So recently I discovered this cool template where you can see Google Analytics 4 data, but with the same familiar layout as the old GA. <laughs> Hello data people, my name is Robert and I'm here to help understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. So let me show you quickly how to get this template and how to use it. So this is the GA4 classic mode and this is a dashboard in Looker Studio. But the good thing is you don't need to do anything because it's all automatic. And this is created by a guy called Andre Maffei. And basically he already says here, you can choose from this drop down the account you want to see. In my case, I have a few different ones and I'm right now looking at the Google Merch. To avoid doing this every time you land on this page, you can just bookmark it. And that way, every time you click on that bookmark, it will basically choose the right account for you. So then you don't need to do this every time. But the cool thing is here, it looks so familiar. So if you're used to the old GA, Universal Analytics dashboards, this kind of mimics that. So you have here the overview, you have the audiences and things like that, that you're kind of used to seeing. And GA4 doesn't always show them very, I would say intuitively, at least they're kind of, some features are a bit hidden. So you can click around here. Some of these reports are not inside here. And actually he just tells you how to create them. For example, here, open in GA4, you would need to create this uh, report instead of actually uh, seeing it here. By the way, data is not created equal and you should be only looking at data that is relevant to your role. That's why I've created a cheat sheet which shows you the most important metrics and KPIs specific to different e-commerce roles. You can download it by clicking on the first link in the video description. But then you have some other reports here and everything is where you would expect them to be. For example, if you want to see the events on this slide, it's possible. Here you go. It's all in one view. And then you have the conversions. For example, if you look at the goals, so if you have set up, so for example, signups for your newsletter, here you go. You have some of that thing here. Now it's not perfect, but it's a nice uh, replication of what we used to have. And I think it's just brilliant. And if you want this uh, template and you want, actually want to edit it and change the logo and so on, you're able to buy it. It's like $19 up to three different GA4 properties. So if that's interesting to you, just grab it. But I just thought this is such a cool idea. If you want to explore this by yourself, just check out the link in the description and you can see it there. <laughs> Look, I know that it takes a bit of effort to familiarize yourself with GA4, but you need to do the switch at some point because otherwise you'll just fall behind your colleagues. That's why you should watch this video next where I'll show you the most useful reports in GA4 so you can just start with those first.